The block size wars were a series of debates and discussions within the Bitcoin community that raged from August 2015 to November 2017. The hot topic was the maximum size of blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain. The original block size limit was set at 1 megabyte, but some members of the community proposed increasing it to allow for faster and cheaper transactions. This led to a divide within the Bitcoin community, with one side arguing for larger block sizes and the other side advocating for keeping the limit at 1 megabyte. This debate ultimately led to a hard fork in 2017, resulting in the creation of Bitcoin Cash or BCH, which has larger block size limit than the original Bitcoin blockchain. Later, in 2018, another hard fork occurred from Bitcoin Cash, which created Bitcoin Satoshi Vision or Bitcoin SV with an even larger block size limit. We are going to look at these two separate blockchains, how they differ from the original Bitcoin blockchain and where they are now. Bitcoin Cash was created in 2017 as a hard fork of the original Bitcoin blockchain. Along with some other tweaks, the main goal of Bitcoin Cash was to increase the block size limit of Bitcoin in order to allow for faster and cheaper transactions. The fork was proposed by a group of developers and Bitcoin miners, led by a software developer named Amari Sichet, who believed that increasing the block size limit would make it more viable as a payment method and improve scalability. The proposal was supported by a group of influential figures in the Bitcoin community, including Roger Ver, Yihan Wu, and Craig Wright. More about him later. The key features of Bitcoin Cash was the larger block size limit. While the original block size limit on the original chain was set to one megabyte, Bitcoin Cash increased this limit to eight megabytes. This allows for more transactions to be processed per block, resulting in faster transaction speeds and lower fees. Bitcoin Cash to this day has a community of developers and supporters who are working to improve and promote the cryptocurrency. However, the network Network is not as strong as it once was and the hard fork in 2023 is attempting to improve security and functionality for what some describe as a dying blockchain. Nowadays, the Bitcoin Cash headlines are being made by Roger Ver's lawsuit from bankrupt crypto lender Genesis, who claim Ver owes $20 million in unpaid option trades. Bitcoin SV or Bitcoin Satoshi Vision is a cryptocurrency that was created in 2018 as a hard fork of the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. The goal of Bitcoin SV is to further return to the original vision of Bitcoin as outlined by its creator Satoshi Nakamoto in the Bitcoin white paper. This includes increasing the block size limit again to allow for faster and cheaper transactions and restoring the original script opcodes that were removed from the Bitcoin protocol in a previous update. While the original Bitcoin block size was set at 1 one megabyte and Bitcoin Cash had an 8 megabyte size, Bitcoin SV increased this limit to a maximum of 128 megabytes. This allows for more transactions to be processed per block, resulting in faster transaction speeds and again lower fees. Another important aspect of Bitcoin Satoshi Vision is its restoration of the mentioned original script opcodes that were removed from the Bitcoin protocol. These opcodes are powerful tools that allow for the creation of smart contracts and other advanced features on the Bitcoin blockchain. This allows for greater flexibility and innovation in the development of decentralized applications on the Bitcoin SV network. Now, we can't discuss Bitcoin SV without mentioning its association with Craig Wright. Wright has claimed to be the mysterious creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. Nakamoto, but his claims have been met with skepticism and controversy in the crypto community. Despite this, Wright has been a vocal proponent of Bitcoin Satoshi Vision and has been involved in its development and promotion. Some see Wright's involvement as a positive aspect of the cryptocurrency, while others view it as a drawback. Nonetheless, Wright and his team are the main developers behind Bitcoin SV, and his influence in the project cannot be denied. Recently, Bitcoin SV also implemented a feature called Blacklist that allows users to confiscate and freeze others' funds. This seemingly goes against the irreversible nature of the blockchain, where all transactions are final. Wright and other developers argue that this feature was actually proposed by Satoshi themselves back in 2010 in a Bitcoin Talk forum post, where the creator outlined a kind of escrow account where funds could be locked up and held until a buyer confirmed the receipt of the specified goods or services. Needless to say, the blacklist feature has been met with heated debate in the crypto world. 
While I don't have a crystal ball, it would appear that the original Bitcoin blockchain is still the most viable long term. The ongoing implementation of the Layer 2 Lightning Network has solved the speed and scaling issues that both Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV sought to accomplish initially. The original Bitcoin chain can handle roughly 1,000 to 1,500 transactions per block. Lightning Network can handle a mass of 1 million transactions per second. Compare this to Bitcoin SV at 50,000 transactions per second or Bitcoin Cash at 25 transactions every 10 minutes and there is a clear winner. Unless there is a massive network failure with the original chain, or Craig Wright undoubtedly proves he is Satoshi, it is reasonable to back the original chain as the outright winner. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to Know About Crypto for more videos like these.